So our initial figures suggested that they were in the range of about 24,000 people who were staying in these relief camps and were enrolled as voters. So as per the scheme, we have given, the, uh, given them the option of either voting at the original polling station or to vote at the special polling station. So ये जो व्यवस्था हम लोगों ने की है आंतरिक रूप से विस्थापित लोगों के लिए, उसमें we have created a special polling station at 94 locations, and these are uh, for both inner as well as outer Manipur parliamentary constituency. So this scheme ensures that the voter would be voting for the constituency where he or she is originally enrolled. So and the second aspect of it is that this uh, special polling station has been created at a cluster level. So we have taken uh, a group of few polling stations, we have looked at the total number of voters there and we also have looked at the convenience of the voter that the voter doesn't have to travel for uh, too long a distance to cast his or her vote. So these special polling stations have been created and we distributed a form which is called ID form through which the voter has exercised uh, the option. And accordingly we have done the assessment and uh, now uh, we are in the process of uh, making all pre uh, preparations for the special polling station so that on the day of poll the displaced uh, voters get an opportunity to vote at the special polling station. We also have extended this facility to those persons who are internally displaced and they are uh, staying with their friends, relatives, having their own arrangements. The scheme was designed after having due consultation with the political parties, the stakeholders, taking inputs from the state government as well. And then accordingly, we also had discussion with the district election officers, our deputy commissioners, and we thought that the scheme should be devised in such a way that everybody